Cutting Boats. Today I want to show you a 2006 Bayliner 192 Cutty. This boat is fitted with, uh, with the engine of choice, which is a Mercruiser 4.3 litre, 190 horsepower steering drive. It's in very nice condition throughout. The boat is a tuner from you example. It's got a nice spec, and this is a great little uh, all-rounder. This 2006 model 192 was a huge upgrade from the, the long-standing uh, Forerunner to it, which they finished out in 2005. The, although it's still only just over 19 feet long, and eight foot six inches wide. It's a very substantial boat. You get an idea of that whenever it's out sitting on the trailer here. The gel coat on this boat still has a really good sort of factory shine to it, both above and below the rub rail. There's no damage anywhere around the boat. Um, there might be a little fender mark or two, but um, we have given the boat a nice, a nice polish and stuff, so it's taken the vast majority of those out. And again, coming down along the starboard side, the hull um, and the deck above and the rub rail are all in, uh, in really good shape. It's a really good sized cockpit for a boat that's only 19 foot long. We've got really comfortable seating here for six adults. The, the, the standard layout, which is the twin back-to-back -back, um, lounger seats on the port and starboard side. And then we've got two low set jump seats either side of the engine box there um, at the back. We can also remove the, uh, the cushion from the top of the engine box as well. And that gives a nice flat surface to use as like a picnic table or a, a preparation area for you know preparing bait and stuff if you're fishing. Sitting back here at the transom, you can you can just see how how snug these seats are. So that, you know the, the actual the gunnels come up to shoulder height virtually. The cockpit is fully lined and drains. It's self bailing so we've got two big bailers on the port and starboard sides of the, the cockpit here. So any water that finds its way on board will automatically drain overboard. We had the boat out in the water, it's running really well jumps up on the plane quickly, it runs up to almost 50 miles an hour which is great performance from that 4.3 litre engine um, and all the controls were feeling really good, you know the throttle and shift controls they're nice and light, the steering controls are, are, are very good as well, it's power steering obviously and the engine's starting, first turn of the key so mechanically this is a, this is a very good boat get into the cabin through the split folding door in this surprisingly large cabin I'm going to jump in there now to show you what the headroom and stuff's like but it's a for a 19 foot boat it's a great little cabin in my mind this uh, sort of next generation Bayliner 192 from the, from 2006 onwards has to be one of the best entry-level cutting cabin boats that you can buy it's great value for money it does so many jobs really well whether it's skiing wakeboarding fishing or just general day use and, and even has the possibility of spending the odd night on board. If you like the look of this one and you'd like to find out more about it then please go to our website at gulfstreamboatsales.com and sign up for VIP access. It's completely free, all you have to do is pop your name and email address into the box below this video on our page at gulfstreamboatsales.com and then you can navigate back to the Bayliner 192 page and you can see our full length video review where we go through everything in much more detail. I take a close look in around the cabin, we show you around the engine bay, you can see the full extent of the water test footage that we shot of this boat and just generally get a better idea of the condition that this one's in and you know, help you to make up your mind whether it might be the right boat for you or not. Thank you very much for watching.